in this video we discuss section 39 uh, in this section uh, we give the definition of contours uh, that are the arcs uh, used to define complex integrals uh, contours to the analysis integrals of complex valued functions of a complex variable are defined on curves in the complex plane uh, rather than uh, on just intervals of the wavelength so we uh, introduce the candidates for defining uh, integrals, complex integrals along curves. Okay. So some uh, the curves which has a definite property uh, are called this contours. So in order to define contours, we first define arc. A set of points z equal to xy in the complex plane is said to be an arc if x equal to x of t, y equal to y of t. Uh, that means x should be a function of t and y should be a function of t itself uh, and that t should be defined on uh, some interval a b ok so using, uh, using uh, this t we define uh, two components x of t and y of t uh, that will constitute the curves uh, called arcs uh, where this x of t and y of t should be continuous ok so this is the requirement and using uh, the definition of arc we define contours and used to we, by using this contours we can uh, introduce the intervals of complex functions along uh, contours and what about this this arc is nothing but uh, a parameterized curve you might have seen in the, in the degree uh, of first year second year classes a parameterized curve so uh, the parameterized curve using this idea is called arc in complex analysis another remark is uh, an arc c can be considered as a, a continuous mapping of the interval uh, interval positional a b into x y plane or z plane that means if c is an arc then that can be considered as a function from a continuous mapping from a b to c Uh, this C stands for uh, complex plane and this C stands for uh, the arc ok so this can be considered as the continuous function and this C uh, the arc C uh, map continuously the interval a b to this uh, C uh, or a subset of uh, complex numbers and uh, we give some properties for uh, this arc uh, now this uh, if we consider this z is equal to z of t uh, that means by uh, putting uh, x x y the ordered pair x y as x plus i y then we can call this z as z of t uh, where a less than or equal to t less than or equal to b and we write z of t is equal to uh, x of t plus i times uh, y of t so we call this is the curve or arc in uh, complex complex plane and uh, we define uh, the properties of this arc the arc c is simple simple arc this is the definition for simple arc simple arc or we call this as a jordan curve okay. this is jordan Arc. We call simple arc or Jordan arc. Both give the same thing. Uh, if it does not uh, cross itself, if it does not cross itself, what is the meaning of crossing? Uh, that means uh, the function c. If we consider this as a function, uh, then crossing means for a different values of t1 and t2, uh, we will have uh, c of t1 uh, and c of t2 will be the same uh, or equivalently uh, z of t1 equal to z of t z of t2 this is the meaning of crossing so this never happens for uh, simple arc or jordan arc okay. so in uh, the definition of jordan arc uh, can be reinstated as uh, if t1 uh, not equal to t2 then we can get z of t1 not equal to z of t2 
Okay. So that means uh, if we consider this R C then as a function, then the function should be one. one. That is the meaning of Jordan okay, or singular. Okay. In that case, if we uh, consider the images of uh, points of uh, the closed interval A B, uh, that is a subset of uh, real numbers. And if we choose T one, T two, T three, etc. from this, and we'll get a uh, points. We will get points on this complex plane uh, like this. So at this point, uh, we consider this is the uh, if t is increasing from uh, a to b, then the orientation of this curve is defined as the increasing uh, orientation of uh, this uh, t. That means if, if, uh, this is some t1 and this is some t2, and we can say that t1 is less than t2, and put uh, t1 here and uh, t2 somewhere here, then the direction will be like this from t1 to t2. So that is the orientation of this. Uh, arc C. Okay, so this arc crosses at this point. Okay, that means uh, for different values of some uh, uh, some R and S, uh, we will get Z of R equal to Z of S at this point. Okay, so this is the meaning of crossing. In the simple arc or Jordan arc, there will not be any uh, crossing for this uh, arc. Okay, so this is this will be uh, like a simple arc like this. So this is an example of a Jordan arc. Okay, so simple that never crosses uh, each other. Uh, so this is the definition of uh, simple arc. And uh, if we consider uh, an arc uh, whose endpoints, just endpoints are the same. Okay, so that those type of arcs are called closed, closed curve, closed curve. Closed curve means uh, if we have an uh, arc z of t uh, where t varies from uh, a less than or equal to t less than or equal to b with the property that there is no closing uh, with the property that z of a is equal to z of b. Such a arc such arcs are called uh, closed arcs. So z of t, z of t is an arc, or this c can be considered as an arc. Uh, where this z of a is equal to z of b, then this is closed arc. Then what is simple closed arc? Simple closed curve, or simple Jordan curve, simple closed Jordan curve. Uh, this is C uh, such that C is equal to Z of T, and we have A less than or equal to T less than or equal to V, uh, with the property that T1 not equal to T2 uh, implies uh, Z of T1 not equal to Z of T2. For all uh, T1 and T lies between. A and B, uh, but Z of A would be equal to Z of B. This type of uh, arcs are called single closed curve. Okay, that means only the endpoints are the same, okay. and this function should be one one uh, whenever this T one T two lies in between A and B. So those type of arcs are called uh, this uh, single. Uh, closed uh, arcs, okay, or symbol uh, Jordan. Okay. And, uh, we call the symbol closed curve as, or or you can consider this as a uh, Jordan symbol Jordan arc. Symbol Jordan. This is what we call Jordan curve. It is called Jordan curve. So we define Jordan curve uh, as well as Jordan arc. Jordan arc is a simple arc, okay, for which that function is one one, and uh, Jordan curve is a simple closed curve. So for this. A uh, simple closed curve or Jordan curve, the one one is fails to be at the endpoints. Okay, uh, at the points A and B, we have the same uh, complex uh, complex number, and rest of the uh, points T, we will have this uh, one one is. Okay, so this is Jordan curve and this is Jordan arc. So please note the difference between uh, these two definitions. Okay, 
So uh, this type of uh, curves are called positively oriented uh, jawline curves. So positively oriented means whenever this T varies from A to B, uh, the orientation will be uh, consistent with uh, the direction of or increasing direction of T. So that is called the positively oriented uh, jawline curve. And uh, generally posit uh, positively oriented uh, curve means uh, it is uh, counter clockwise that if we have the direction with counter clockwise then this is called the, this is the uh, if this is like this then uh, this is the positively oriented curve so next we can define generally positively oriented positively oriented jordan oriented Curve. Simply we can say that positively oriented curve. Positively oriented means the direction should be in the counter clockwise. This is the uh, definition of positively oriented curve. Okay. And the rest of the session uh, are dedicated to uh, illustrating some examples. So let us see some examples for uh, these uh, definitions. Uh, first of all, we define uh, function z uh, z is defined as uh, x plus i x when 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 and x plus i when when 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 okay. so this stands for the curve or arm from starting from origin uh, whenever x equal to 0 we have 0 plus 0 i that will give this point so this is p set of 0 and uh, as we move, uh, as we uh, consider this x uh, from 0 to 1 so this will give uh, x of t or uh, we can consider this the real part of the curve and this is the imagined part of the curve so both will give uh, x that means uh, if we consider this is uh, our u plus uh, suppose this is x y plane then x equal to uh, x of t uh, that is equal to t and y is equal to y of t if we consider this a function of t then this is t itself ok so that means real part and the imagined part are the same so if we uh, collect all those points starting from 0 to 1 uh, we will get a, a straight line uh, passes through origin uh, with a slope of uh, 1 ok so this is the uh, first part uh, from 1 to 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 we have uh, x of t uh, equal to uh, t itself and uh, y of t is equal to uh, this i ok that is 1 so x of t is equal to t y of t is equal to 1 so y of t the imaginary part is always uh, 1 uh, for the interval 1 to 2 and uh, x part that means the real part varies uh, with x so that means uh, we have the curve like this ok this is the this is our one so y of t for, if we choose any point here then this point stands for uh, what is the value here t then this is t comma 1 this is the meaning if it is x then this is x comma 1 Okay. and if we choose any point here then the point the coordinate of the those point at the, uh, t uh, we have t comma t so this is the uh, equation of the straight line, uh, line segment and this so this uh, these two line segments uh, by joining and by end uh, we will get the uh, curve or r is that is equal to result of t as in this direction because uh, this is the direction of this arc is uh, the increasing direction of t ok so this is the uh, 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 this is one example and uh, we will have another example is that is equal to e power i theta so this gives a curve it's a closed curve uh, if we vary theta from 0 to uh, 2 pi so that will give a circle ok so this is in fact is that is equal to uh, this can be written as is uh, that not plus you can consider uh, this as uh, cos theta plus i sin theta ok so from this you can write uh, this uh, x equal to 
x of theta that is equal to cos theta and y is equal to y of theta that is equal to sin theta. So this will give a unit circle. Okay, this is an example of uh, closed curve. Uh, this is a closed curve, unit circle. So at every point of this, at the point zero, you have the point uh, one zero, and uh, this is our z of zero. And the same point will be obtained if you put uh, theta is equal to two pi as well. So that is one zero again. And any point of this uh, unit circle can be considered as cos theta comma sin theta. So this uh, the orientation of this will be uh, starting from theta is equal to zero and uh, if theta is equal to pi by 2 you get this point, theta is equal to pi you get this point, theta is equal to 3 pi by 2 you get this point. So the direction can be observed in this direction and this is a positively oriented uh, simple closed curve. Okay. So this is an example of a uh, simple closed curve and a couple of examples are discussed in uh, the textbook after this example. So please go through it. and. Uh, next we will uh, introduce the integral along uh, this Jordan curve okay, or sim uh, along an arc. Okay, if we uh, define uh, z is equal to uh, z of tau, this alpha less than or equal to tau less than or equal to beta and uh, z of tau can be written as uh, z of z of phi of t phi of tau okay what is this phi uh, this uh, phi is the uh, real valued function and uh, this t can be uh, this t can be written in terms of phi phi of tau and alpha less than or equal to tau less than beta okay so in in this interval we reparameterize uh, this t uh, t using the function phi. So this z of tau can be written as z of phi of tau. Okay. Uh, that means once you have a uh, arc like z of t, then this t can be parameterized or reparameterized with another parameter phi in this fashion. So this is another uh, interesting fact on this arc. Then here we can uh, reparameterize uh, this. Uh, arc with phi another another function phi the, uh, in order to be parameterize this uh, one thing is required uh, required that is the derivative of this parameterized function phi dash of tau should be greater than zero if this is the case we can consider this capital z is a reparameterization of this small z okay and this capital z of tau can be considered as small z of phi of tau so this is what we call the parameterization of curves. Okay. So we use this uh, parameterization uh, to evaluate integrals. Okay. So we uh, next we will introduce the integral corresponding to uh, or a complex integral uh, along uh, a simple closed curve and uh, uh, along simple arc. Then we introduce that uh, integral uh, with reparameterization as well. Okay, sometimes the reparameterization uh, makes the situation uh, easier to evaluate that integral. Okay, so we uh, first we write uh, the integral uh, of uh, uh, along a curve. Okay, that means uh, if uh, first we define a differentiable arc, differentiable. What is the difference in law? Uh, suppose there is an arc z of t with the property that modulus z prime of t that is nothing but if z of t written as x of t plus i times y of t this is the general form of uh, representing a uh, arc then if z dash t z dash t is defined as the derivative of this we already discussed what is the derivative of this thing uh, derivative of this will be derivative of the real part plus i times the derivative of uh, its imaginary part and the modulus of this will be square root of uh, x prime t whole square plus uh, y prime t whole square ok uh, when this this quantity uh, 
is integrable is integrable is integrable over one uh, the differentiability means the arc is differentiable means this exists uh, differentiable arc means z of t is equal to x of t plus i y of t equal to z of t z of t will be this which exists if this exists then we can say that uh, this is z of t is a differentiable arc in that case the modulus of z of t will give this thing uh, if this is integrable over uh, 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 over the interval uh, a less than or equal to t less than or equal to b then we can define uh, integral integral l as uh, integral a to b is a dash t dt this gives the real integral because this is a real function and if we integrate this real function from a to b that will give l which is called the length of the curve which is the length of the curve okay, so we can define the length of the curve length of the curve so length of the curve is defined as modulus of z dash t dt integrate the quantity from a to b as well so after reducing arc we define smooth arc uh, smooth arc means if we have an uh, arc like this, uh, suppose this is an arc like this, and if we consider uh, at a point t uh, naught, at a point t naught, uh, we consider that means this arc is defined over an interval AB, and t naught is at a point inside this AB, then consider uh, EZ of t naught. This is the, uh, the point corresponding to t naught in the arc. Okay. And if we consider T1 here, then we will get uh, Z of T1 somewhere here. Okay. Then uh, this will, uh, we can connect these two points using a uh, line segment or line uh, in this direction. I, I put the direction in this way because of the increasing direction of T0, uh, increasing direction of T. So uh, T varies from T0 to T1 then the direction uh, is from z of t0 to z of uh, t1 so this will give one, uh, this is what we call secant secant line uh, as we consider uh, z of uh, t1 minus z of uh, t0 divided by t minus t1 minus t0 this will give the slope of this line okay and if we take the limit as t1 tends to t0 uh, we will get uh, this is the derivative of z at the t0 this is the definition of derivative <coughs> so if this exists uh, uh, the meaning of this geometrical meaning of this uh, this is uh, as this t1 uh, approaches to t1, t0 then we will get uh, uh, in that process we will get the so many secant lines which approach, approaches to uh, this okay, which approaches to this line uh, and uh, the unique line, if, if this unique line exists, then this quantity will be a unique quantity, uh, which will give the slope of this uh, this tangent line at uh, slope of this secant line at t uh, naught, and that uh, particular secant line is called uh, tangent line, okay, or tangent vector. You already uh, discussed. Uh, you might have seen this in your uh, uh, one uh, third and fourth semester classes and uh, we call this as the tangent vector and uh, if, if this tangent vector exists then you can define a unique tangent vector t at that point that is defined as z of uh, z dash of uh, t naught uh, this is z dash of t naught divided by the modulus of z dash of t naught and uh, this is called unit tangent vector unit tangent vector if this unit tangent vector exists for all of the intermediate points of this A and B, then such arc is called smooth arc. Okay, so an arc is it an arc is a of T or C, an arc C which is equal to Z of T uh, is smooth if T 
is equal to mod is a dash is a dash of t is a dash of t divided by mod is a dash of t is a dash of t divided by mod is a dash of t exist exist for t belongs to t if this happens we can uh, consider this uh, c as smooth arc okay so a particular smooth arcs are called this contour so next we uh, we will see the uh, definition of contour okay we have the definition of so this is very important uh, we are using uh, this is our candidate for uh, defining uh, integers complex integers so a contour is a uh, piece wise smooth arc that is contour is also called this piece piece wise uh, smooth arc uh, that is an arc consisting of a finite number of smooth arcs okay uh, for example uh, this will not be a uh, smooth arc because uh, if we consider uh, the tangent at this point uh, you will get uh, this limit does not exist because if we consider this limit from the left hand side you will get this one and right hand side you will get this one so at this point there is no tangent uh, uh, there is no tangent at this point therefore this uh, this type of curves are not uh, if we consider this type of curves are not uh, smooth but this uh, if we consider uh, a part of this curve from this point to this point we can say that this is a smooth arc from this to this there is a smooth arc from this to this part there is a smooth arc from this to this part there is a smooth arc so this the whole curve can be considered as a uh, uh, the summing up of uh, piece wise or uh, smooth arcs joined end to end okay such curves are called uh, contours okay so smooth arc means the derivative exists or tangent exists at every point of that uh, uh, that uh, arc uh, and uh, piece wise smooth arc means that is a combination of two smooth arcs or a finite number of smooth arcs okay that means the uh, differentiality uh, may be uh, uh, the fact that, that the curve should be or uh, may, may be uh, non differentiable at a finite number of points that is the meaning of that all other points uh, there is smoothness okay such uh, arcs are called uh, piece wise smooth arcs or contours okay so we define the next session we will discuss if if a contour is uh, uh, simple then that is called a simple contour and if it is closed then that is called simple closed to contour okay so we define uh, uh, this integrals complex integrals for uh, contours okay especially for simple uh, closed to contours okay and uh, we have an interesting result called uh, jordan curve theorem this is called jordan curve theorem the points on any simple closed curve okay so if we consider any simple uh, closed curve uh, or simple closed contour okay so this is z of t uh, this is z of t in this direction uh, are uh, the points on any simple closed contour means these points okay so this points uh, of uh, this will be the boundary of two distinct domains okay that means exterior of this curve is a domain uh, that is this point and interior of this is also a domain so this curve is nothing but any simple closed curve or any uh, simple closed contour points on simple closed contours can be considered as a boundary of two domains one is this and ne uh, next is the inside so this curve the points on this curve can be considered as the points about points on the boundary of two domains and one is uh, in one one is called the one domain this domain is called the interior of this uh, closed contour and this is called the exterior of closed contour okay so this is the, uh, the theorem the uh, proof of this theorem is beyond our scope of the syllabus so we are not going to prove all this uh, proofs uh, but uh, you should remember that any uh, it is the easiest way to uh, identify the simple closed contour or simple closed curve if this is a simple closed curve or contour then uh, that will be the points on that curve curve will be uh, in the boundary of uh, or that is the boundary of two uh, distinct 
domains. Okay, so please note this theorem as uh, an important one. And uh, the proof is not so easy to prove, so uh, we are not going to prove this thing. And uh, with this, we can conclude section uh, 39. Uh, so we have discussed uh, the section 39 uh, contours. And the next session we introduce the uh, integrals which is called contour integrals in complex plane.